podcast. I'm Kevin Smith. Scott Moser. This isn't me being Hollywood cool. This is me just trying to protect my eyes. Um, we're here at Comic Con uh, 2010. Uh, Etnies has thrown us a party. Uh, uh, well, thrown me a party, not to leave you out of the party. Yeah, it's not really my party. They threw me a party and invited Scott. Yeah. So it, it all kind of works out. Anyway, it's the sneakers. They're doing uh, a line of sneakers that are kind of inspired by me, I don't know, my je ne sais quoi, if you will. They are. They're very low-tech approach to the speakers, just black sick clips on the side. It's kind, of, it's kind of cool. People have actually come up to me and complimented me on my footwear for the first time ever in my life. Like total strangers. There's a dude who came up to me at the Arclight Cinema in Los Angeles, and I was in line to get some snacks and shit which is already nerve-wracking because I'm like, people are looking at me going like, are you sure you want more snacks, fly boy? No. So a dude came up to me, where'd you get those kicks, man? Those are fresh. And I was like, oh, uh, Ebby's makes them, man. I don't know if they're available. He goes, I don't like that movie, but I like those sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm with you, man. I hear you. Um, so, I don't know. It's, it's nice. They're going to be out pretty soon, and, and people can get them. But that's what brought us together here. It is. It's kicks. Uh, I, I know, I'm not, uh, I'm pretty naive to the whole shoe scene. Are there scenes? <laughs> there is a scene. The only, there might be a shoe scene because there was an episode of Entourage about it. Okay. <laughs> like where Turtle was looking for sneakers and shit like that. So, well, that was my first awareness of it. I was sitting there going, holy shit, there's an underground culture that like, worships at the fucking, at the soul of a sneaker. No pun intended. Um, so apparently they go out and like wear them and collect them as well. Oh, okay. It's kind ingenious. It's the ingenious way to like sell someone twice. Because you're like, we know you need sneakers and we know you like to collect them. You know? So two people tend to buy two fair and shit. Comic book mentality applied to sneakers. I can totally get behind it. Plus, they made them for me. They have my name on them. Now I'll never be like, whose sneakers are those? They're mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> So they're kicks, kicks is the word? Kicks. I, 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 I suggested kicks. Yeah. Skips. Skips? Skips was another word for sneakers. Um, uh, Sneaks? Is that old? Is that like dated me? A little bit. Right now all the kids in the audience are like, get this fucking old fossil off the stage. <laughs> Um, I don't think people call them sneaks anymore. No. That's like when you call your underwear undies. <laughs> How many people do that anymore? Yeah. I think they've left that behind. They left undies and sneaks? Um, are you, when you look at my sneakers, do you get jealous at all? Or are you like, I don't want fucking sneakers, damn it? Well, I saw them before and I like had this idea and I came up with my own um, shoelaces. <laughs> uh, they're called smoo laces. Smoo? Shmoo laces, yeah. Shmoo? Yeah. Like the fucking sh the new shmoo? Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, like the which, which it, and I literally well the mine are the my, shmoo character? No, no, no. It's like Scott Moser. Oh, okay. shmoo laces. I thought you were like reaching back, like I'm gonna market a shmoo. Yeah, I'm like I spent all of my life savings to buy the right suit. <laughs> A new schmoo. And people are like, I'm sorry, Scott, what is the schmoo? And you're like, didn't you ever fucking read Little Abner? The incredible new schmoo. <laughs> it literally looks like a giant wad of semen. Yeah. It looks like a bunch of scientists like jerked off from the petri dish and then like adapted it. with radiation. That was the tour, the Bukaki Shmoo. <laughs> bunch of scientists got together, jerked off petri dish, brought it to life, and it was lovable. <laughs> It would, they'd hug it, it would leave it sticky, but clearly it, it was sentient, it had life, it could, it could, it could like, affection, communicate affection, yeah, yeah. Like, and people would be like, oh, give it a hug, and they'd be like, ugh, because they'd become all over them, have to go home to their wives and explain why they're coming and see him. But he was still nice in the end, so, because he was the incredible new schmoo. Who likes you? That was the theme song. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was created for the little Abner comics back in the day. And then he managed to, every decade, somebody kind of got into the schmoo. In the 80s, they teamed, Hanna-Barbera brought him back and teamed him up with some kid detectives. That's their formula. It's just like, yeah, yeah. They, they had kid detectives and a dog, kid detectives and a shark, kid detectives and a child molester, kid detectives and a... Um, and so one was kid detectives and a schmoo, and it lasted one season. And the theme song was, like, it's the new schmoo. Yeah. 